Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here with my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Sensei, Brian Glick. We have a long relationship. We've been hanging out doing Judo and Grappling forever. I teach him Judo, he teaches me BJJ, and it's a great honor. Thank you very much for being here. Yes, thank you. Uh, I finally convinced Brian after all these years, he's one of the best in the game, to start his own YouTube channel. So I'm going to link it down below, guys. Click on it, like it, subscribe it. It's going to be the best stuff. And what are you going to show us today? Today we're going to look at a Kani Basami variation. And so the idea with Kani Basami is sometimes it's cool to use, sometimes it's not cool to use. You've got to make sure that you're doing it in a safe way. The way we're going to do it today is pretty safe. You do need to be careful with any jumping or flying attacks. And this is one of the things that we're always talking about with attacks that use your body weight flying onto your partner. In Jiu Jitsu, of course, it's very common for guys to like to jump guard. They jump to the closed guard. And although it's a tournament legal technique, it can also result in some injuries if your partner's not ready for it. Mm -hmm. Even if you are the person who's doing it and you're super skilled, if your partner's not prepared, a lot of times it can result in some uh, injuries to the ankle or the knee. So you do have to be a little bit cautious. The thing about Kani Basami though is it's so effective as a takedown. And then when you're working with no gi, of course, it leads right into leg attacks. So we'll look at some of those also. And so that's kind of the the watch out, that's kind of the, uh, the preparation for it. The way that we're going to look at it today is off of, we'll start initially with a cross grip, and what we'll do is we're going to bait the underhook. Now normally we wouldn't really bait the underhook because it's such a dominant position for our partner here, um, but because Kani Basami is going to work against it, we can do that pretty safely. So we'll begin in a situation where our right leg is mashed against our partner's right leg. We're going to come forward and we're going to take the cross grip. So we keep our right arm high here. We take the cross grip. Then we're going to circle and step to draw our partner's arm into place. So we're going to give a little pull and that's going to bring us here into position. We're going to take an overclass grip. So uh, no gi, a lot of times we'll use a wizard grip. For here, because we have the gi, we can just take our hand and we're going to control here right along our partner's back. We're just going to plant our hand on our partner's back. We're going to hold the fabric. And now from here, we're ready to go. We may give a little pull to draw this leg forward into us. And now, with our two legs uh, kind of surrounding our partner's leg, that leg in the middle, this is a good time to go. To practice it safely, the way we're going to do is we're going to take our right leg and we're going to insert it here as a hook, almost as if your partner were picking up the single leg. You know, if we were working... Um, in a situation where single legs were legal and leg grabs were legal, our partner would take our leg and put it in here. And of course, in no gi, this happens all the time. But because our partner is not going to be grabbing our leg, we're going to take our leg proactively and we're going to put the shoelaces of our foot just here behind our partner's knee and hamstring. And we're going to put some tension on this so we're going to hook. What's that going to do? It's going to put a little bit of weight on our partner's heels and that's what we're looking for. This left hand is going to go down to the floor to stabilize us. And as we jump, very important, that we're not so much throwing our hips onto our partner's knee as much as we're thinking about taking our secondary leg and putting our knee behind our partner's knee. So we place the leg in place, we put our hand down for stability, and then we place our knee here behind our partner's knee. When we land, we land in a position where we have both legs on the inside. This gives us access and control to our partner's leg here. We have options including the knee bar where we would gather our partner's leg up, rotate our hips so that our partner's kneecap faces our belt. We control our partner's heel, cross the ankles, bring the foot to the top side, and we have a very powerful finish here. So as a takedown, uh, very, very strong. And with the caveat that you can do it uh, both safely and in a way that's a little bit more dangerous, we want to be careful as we're hitting it. So we come forward, one, we grip, two, we pull, giving our partner the underhook and taking an overclassed grip. Our second hand here goes down on the floor as we put our foot in place, plant the hand so our weight is here on the mat. That makes our secondary leg very light. That means that we can bring it behind our partner's knee and land here in a safe direction. You can attack uh, both legs here and there are a number of different ways of going about it. For today, we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna take our knees and we're gonna turn our knees in. That's gonna take our partner's kneecap, putting it right facing the knot of our belt. We control our partner's heel. If we want additional control, we'll control our partner's toes. We'll bring it to the top side, crossing our ankles down below, and we have a very powerful finish here for the knee bar. So, we'll do one more time. One, two, foot goes in, hand on the floor, Legs come up, settle our partner down, 
As soon as we're here, we're going to turn to face the ankle, turn to face the knee, cross our ankles, and we're right into the strong knee bar position. So this is a nice look at Kani Basami done in a way that's safe. People can practice it and hopefully avoid some injury. Thank you so much, man. So, guys, check out his channel. He has lots of stuff like that. He's very Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu based, obviously. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like my stuff too, like his stuff, follow everything. And then uh, hopefully we're going to film a bunch today. So, uh, very exciting day for you guys. I know everyone's been asking you about Newaza, uh, but now we have a real Newaza expert in the house. So, very happy to be here. Thank you. How was that? Amazing, amazing. Okay.